This is our pull test. We're doing 60 feet of wall with fence. As you can see, we're just using a Chevy 1500. You do need to have somebody at the tail end. Making sure that it does not fishtail, otherwise you will get it going into personnel, vehicles. Coming up on a 90 degree turn. Just like pulling a bolt trailer. All right, we've made the 90 degree turn. All right, now two people are gonna unattach it from the truck and lower the wall. They're removing the pins from connecting the hinge points here. That allows you to keep it nice and stiff. Those are not needed to turn it, but if you do use them, it allows you to maneuver the wall a lot easier when pulling it. Within seconds, it's unattached from the truck. Using a battery operated impact wrench, we are dropping the wheels up, or pulling them up, therefore dropping the barrier down to the ground. We're able to swing and make that 90 degree turn with the hinge joints. Once all the center joints are down and we have the arms swung around, the arms can be raised up as well so that the wall is lower to the ground.
notice how you now have a secure barrier. It's been relocated. You can see that being pushed on. It's not going anywhere. This is ideal for crowd control situations that you know are gonna be hostile. These barriers will not be picked up and used as weapons. You now have a full protective perimeter for any type of temporary event. And as you can see on the time, in a total of six and a half minutes, we were able to relocate 500 yards down the way, set up. This is TCP Security Solutions. This is the Ring of Steel. Check us out at www.tcp-ss.com.